Okay, so my Raspberry Pi 400 has arrived, and that's the good news. The bad news is that the SD card slot unfortunately doesn't hold a card in. So I'll show you what I mean. So here's the SD card slot, and if I pop my SD card in, let's try and get a good angle on this. You see it, it feels a click. Sometimes it, it kind of retains it a little bit, but it doesn't actually stay in and it's supposed to be a push and let go and a push and let go. So, and now, you see it's grabbed it? I oh, know it's all right now. Sometimes it kind of grabs it. It seems like the little bit of metal that would hold the SD card in uh, isn't coming in far enough. I can definitely feel it. When it comes back, it stops momentarily and then it, then it pops out. So, I did think about taking it apart because uh, I figured it would just be like a bit of metal. But looking at this adapter, uh, which is an SD card adapter, this one came with my cluster case, uh, which you'll see in a lot of my videos. Uh, there doesn't look like much that you can actually get into. So obviously this top bit here uh, that clips into the card and holds it in place when it's in. And uh, I can't really see that I can get to that. It is incredibly small and very, very fiddly. So I think I'm probably gonna have to leave that. Uh, interestingly, my cable so this is an SD card adapter cable, which I covered in another video. Uh, wasn't altogether that successful because it's quite long and I think that sometimes it just, uh, it's too long to be a reliable. Uh, but this actually seems to stay in. So like that. Yeah, oh, oh it stays in better, but doesn't stay in. So it feels like it's it. You can hear that any any ever so slight movement, it comes out. I did get it to boot earlier on uh, with the SD card slot. So I know the SD card is working. Uh, it's just that that is very loose. So I can't really do the video I, I was planning on doing. Uh, I can mention the, the mouse uh, that I ordered. So I've got a dongle here, uh, a USB dongle, which comes with this mouse. It also comes with this USB-C dongle as well, so uh, suitable for new uh, laptops and MacBooks and things like that. But more importantly, it supports Bluetooth. So if you have a look on here, uh, it's got uh, Bluetooth 3.0 and, Blu and uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, and all you do is you press the little button on the bottom and it cycles through those modes. And uh, this was less than six pound on Amazon. Uh, it's a pretty good match for the Pi keyboard. Uh, but I just thought it was preferable to having a wired mouse all the time. So let's plug it in because there is something I can do without this working. Uh, so let's get some power in it. Now I haven't got anything plugged in at the moment but the good thing about that is it shows you that the bootloader is on October 28th, 2020. So this is, uh, as far as I know, the newest bootloader. This was the one that I put on my Pi 4 uh, very recently. It had just come out in a beta mode. Um, but uh, obviously it must have come out because of the Pi 400. That It makes sense that they changed so many things about the EEPROM update. So if I was to plug in my M.2 adapter, which I think has got Ubuntu on there, I can't really remember what it's got on there. Uh, if I plug it into the USB 3 socket, and I can switch over to screen capture now, you can see that that boots up fine. Uh, and I would, you know, as a preference, I would tend to use uh, either a, an SSD drive or an M.2 drive because they are much, much quicker. So you can see my mouse is working here. I went into NeoFetch and uh, it came up with 2.2 gigahertz. Now, I guess I must have overclocked uh, this on the Pi 4 before. So if I go to other locations, computer, boot, in firmware, and I think it was in config.txt that I overclocked this. Yeah, so I've got it at 82147 and a GPU frequency of 750. So, uh, but what I'm gonna do is do a separate video showing what things USB boot. So we can see that an M.2 drive works with my adapter and it booted up absolutely fine. Uh, but I've got several different operating systems running from SSD. I'm actually also currently writing Windows 10 to SSD to try that in another video. So I've got to contact OKDo, uh, which was the company that sent me the Pi 400. I bought it normally. Uh, I, I got the link through the Raspberry Pi uh, official website and uh, it came pretty quick considering they went out of stock. Uh, I haven't had to wait that long. 
but uh, yeah, hopefully I won't have any issue with uh, getting it swapped out, but I do want to do a few videos even before I swap this one out because I can do the USB boot videos at least. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.